Now I'm going to give you a skeletal formula and let's see if we can come up with the structures for those guys. Now how can I read these molecules out? Now let's be able to de decipher them and then drawing them will become easy. So when I look at this, I see one node, two node, three node. So I know this is a three carbon chain. So I'm just going to draw a three carbon chain right here. Represent this one, two, three. And the middle one has an C double bond O. And that's all I care about right now. Can you understand what the structures are to these guys? Now, obviously, this means they got three hydrogens here, and this has got three hydrogens here. And we could draw that one, two, three, one, two, three. How would I write the condensed formula for this or condensed structure formula? CH3, CO, CH3. So that's what we'll do. We'll take the skeletal formula, draw its a rough structure out, and then draw the condensed structure formula for that. Here, what do I have? Let's look at this. Clearly, this looks like the parent chain. You got one, two, three node, four, five nodes, which means five carbon atoms. One, two, three, four, five. Then the third one has a branch. So this must be a C. So the third one has a branch with nothing else on it. The stick will represent another C right there. So basically, I've got C, 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 and the third one has a C, which really means this is a CH3, CH2. Then this guy has three bonds shown, so it must be a C, H. With a bond shown here with a C, this must have three hydrogens, CH3, CH2, CH3. So its structural formula would be CH3, then a CH2, then a CH, and brackets would this CH3 come in, the, the one I just circled right here. This one is right here. This CH is right here. CH3, CH2, CH, bracket CH3, then CH2, CH3. CH2, CH3. All right? So that's that. Now let me just move to this side. No, okay, come on. So we got this one now. This one is what? It looks like C double bond O. I think it's an ester. Yes, I'm sure it's an ester. I'm just playing with you. But let's figure it out. How would you have figured out this is an ester? I'll say, well, one node, carbon, carbon. And I wouldn't treat this as a node of carbon and then an O because now I see the O. So I know this is end is not a carbon. So carbon, carbon, with a double bonded O, and then another O, which O then goes to this node of carbon. So this is not a carbon. This is a carbon. So carbon, carbon, carbon number one, carbon number two, O. Then this becomes carbon number three and carbon number four. So let's number them. Carbon number one, carbon number two, number three, number four. And two has the double bonded O. And then between two and three, there's a single bonded O. So carbon number one, carbon number two has a double bonded O. Then an O. And then carbon number three. And then carbon number four. And that's when I realize, hey, it's an ester. And I'll write this as CH3. And this one is written as CO2, then CH2, because two H's, and a CH3. So its formula is CH, I'm writing it on top, CH3, CO2, CH2, CH3. Again, today's class is not about naming. I don't care what this is. I will not care what this is. I will not care what this is. And I don't want you to care what this is. Now, if you think that you can do these yourself, then you can quickly go through the video, the rest of the video. There are about 10 minutes left. I'm going to go through a lot of examples, man. So and if the video becomes long, I'll put another video out there. So here, another example. Now what are these guys? Let's look at the first one on the left. One node, two node, three node, four node. That's four carbons. And so if I start numbering them, it makes life a little easier to even refer to them. Carbon number one, two, three, four. So I've got four carbons, and in my diagram, the number third one has a Cl. So one, two, three, four. And this one is CH3, then a CH2, then the third one, which is a CHCl, and a CH3. Now, if you notice that even the Cl was a branch, I did not put a bracket, because when the branch is only one atom, there's no need for those brackets. 
Okay. Now let's go to this one. This one's a little more fascinating because now we got two different branches or things sticking out. So I count this is my carbon number one, my carbon number two, my carbon number three. And this is not carbon number four. This is carbon number three bonding to PR. This is carbon number two bonding to OH. So I got only how many carbons? I got, I got, I got, I got three carbons. One, two, and three. Carbon number two has an OH. Now they've made it on top, but since I have no space, I'll make it at the bottom. And carbon number three has a BR. So I put a BR here. Now I can put the BR on top, on the bottom, or on the right. It doesn't matter. They're all the same. So now I've got this as my basic structure. Obviously, all the bonds I've not shown must be hydrogens. So what is this? This must be CH3, because three bonds are not shown. Actually, let me draw the three H's for a second. One, two, three. CH3, CHOH, CH2, BR. That's the name for this. CH3, CH, the second carbon. But the second carbon has an OH. There are two atoms, so that's why they go in brackets and then ch2 pr go on to the third example now look at this this guy's got an oh and blah 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 so let's start counting now this if, let's number the carbons again again these numbering are not for naming they're just numbering for us to reference for the carbons right now so when i start this car this is not a carbon this is just an oh this note is not a carbon please repeat this is an OH bonded to this being the first carbon is bonded to. So I've got carbon number one here, carbon number two here, carbon number three here, and this is not a carbon, this is just an OH. So there are three carbons here. So what would this have been? Would have been an OH on carbon number one, and OH on carbon number one. You see, I've not made it a OH, I've written OHO because it's the O that bonds to the carbon. So if you have to reverse elements or reverse atoms to get the right bond, and this is carbon number one, then carbon number two, and then carbon number three has a double bond O and an OH. So carbon number three is clearly an acid and carbon number one is an alcohol. So two different class of compounds, they'll react differently. But uh, how do I write this? So I'll write this the way I'm reading this. H, O, and this guy has how many hydrogens? Let's use red again. These sticks I'm representing hydrogens with. And they're just filling up the valencies. This valency is full. So now I've got this fellow. This must be what? An OH bonded to a CH2. Then bonded to carbon number 2, which is CH2. And carbon number 3 is an acid. So that's how you draw this one. All right? And so the more you draw them, the reason why I'm doing this is the more you draw them, the more easier for you to is assess from here to here, identify the functional groups, make them react, come with crazy new molecules that they want you to come up with when they have you different reagents and conditions attached to them. Now, scrolling down some more examples. Plenty of more to come from. Plenty of more. So here I've got more simplified structures. Now what do I get here? I get here a, you know, a haloalkane, which is a three carbon. Now in this case, I've given you structural formula and let's see if we can make, no, I'm sorry. I've given you displayed formula, which is a displayed structural formula. And I want condensed structural formula, which is, you know, like for example, this would be a CH3 on carbon number one, carbon number two is CHBr, and carbon number three is CH2Br. So we would actually write this as CH3, then CHBr, and CH2Br. Let's do this one first, and then this one, and then we draw the skeletals. Okay, so let's get some consistency here. So this one now, slightly different. By the way, these these two would be called isomers because they've got the same number of carbon atoms, the same number of hydrogens, and the same number of bromines. Everything the same except for the structure. This one has two different carbon atoms, have two different bromines. Here, one carbon atom has both the bromines. Now, how do I write this down? This one has C, has an H, and two Brs. So. I'd say CHBr2, then CH2, and the third one is CH3. And this fellow is CH3, then, oh, nice. This one has two branches, but one of them is multi-atomic, and this one is single atom. So it makes life a little easy. So the first one is CH3. The second carbon, the guy with the two branches, one BR, we don't need to put it in brackets, but the second C we do because it's CH3. And then you got the CH with a CH with a CL. And I'll just get some space right here. And then so CH with a CL and then CH3. 
So I want to zoom out to get all the three molecules in picture. So now those are the structural formulas for these guys. Pretty long one, but skeletal would be way easy. Three carbons, three carbons, four carbons. That's literally what I do first. I literally make the center chain one, two, three carbons. One, two, three carbons. One, two, three, four. You see, like a like a factory chain. Foof, easy to make. Then the branches. Second guy is a BR, third guy is a BR, second a BR, third a BR. So literally what this is what you would do. You would do, you would do what? The second has a BR. That's my BR. And my third has a BR. Now when you do it at the ends, you go in the same direction as the zigzag is going. If you don't like that, then you could have also gone down with this, like this, BR, if you wanted to. But who cares? I don't. So I'm going to erase this because it doesn't look nice. This one looks better. But yeah, you get what I'm saying? If I had some space, yeah, let me try a different color. So yeah, this, this BR this way, and then I take that one. Put the BR there. Okay, that's the other way. Here, I got two BRs on the first carbon. So I got a BR. Now here, I have no choice. Because I've got to go the zigzag way for the first BR. And the second BR, I go down. So that's when my two BRs come in. Like this. And in this case, I've got the second carbon has a BR and a CH3. And the third one has a CL. So let's put the BR and the CL first. BR. BR. And CL. Now, the this carbon, car, you got to show the methyl group also now. So you're actually showing all four bonds for this carbon because they're all different. Now, when you're showing a fourth bond, you don't show directly down. To respect the tetrahedral structure, you should go a little slant and whatever had to come here. But because it's a CH3, all you put is a node because that is a C with three H's. Okay? So, those are the three more. I'm going to show you three more. You can pause, draw them out, and then check the answer. Okay, some three more simpler ones. Now, let's go skeletal because I'm just tired of doing these displayed formulae, uh, structural formulae. So for skeletal for this would be, actually no, let's do both. Why not? So you got three carbons in the main chain. The first one is a, let's write it down. The first one is a CH2Cl. The second one is a CBR and the bracket is a CH3. And the last one is a CH2F. That's what this guy is. All right. Moving to the next one. I've got what? Three CH3s on a C. That's going to be fun, fun, fun. Three CH3s on a C, which is then born into a CH with a CL and another CH3. So that's that. And the last one. The last one has CH3. Let's start from there. So a CH3. Bonded to a CH bracket CH3, then a CH2, and the last one is a CH2 with an I. So that's what I have my three structural formulas to be. Now let's draw this skeletal because that would be fun. Three carbons in the main chain, one, two, three, four in the center chain, and one, two, three, four. So three, four, four. So the first one is three. Let's make the first one. Let's make the whole together. So first one is 3, and the first carbon in 3 has got a Cl. The second one has a Br and a CH3. So the first carbon is a Cl. The second is a Br and a CH3. You can put the Br here and the CH3 at the bottom, or put the Br here and the CH3 here. It doesn't really matter. And then the last one has an F. So I'll put the F this way, and that's what I'm done with. This one has got 1, 2, 3, 4. This is not a branch. This is in the main center chain. 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'll go 1, 2, 3, 4. The second one has two CH3s. 1 and 2 slanted. The third one has a CL. And that's it. That's the skeletal for this. Such easy things to draw. Man, I love skeletal. Sorry. Long video now. So I got 4 here. 1, 2, 3, 4. This one is CH3 in the second one, and I on the fourth one. So, sorry, no, no pun intended, I on the fourth one. Clearly, it's becoming a long video, guys. All right, okay, I, I there. There you go. Four carbons, I, and a CH3. There you go. Much more efficient. So now, I'll give you three skeletal for, uh, structural formulae for which 
you gotta make this skeletal. So if I'll show them to you, you pause, draw them out, check the answer. Right here, right here. So I got three of these guys. Now, the easiest way to do is first make the carbon carbon backbone. So I got CH3, CH, BR, CH, CL, CH3. C, 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 the second one is BR, and the third one is CL. So that means one, two, three, four. The second one has BR, and the third one has CL. That's pretty easy. Here, second one. Now, I got C, C, C. Three Cs only. C, C, C. The second one has a BR, and the third one has two CLs. So that would be one, two, three. The second one has BR, and the third one has two CLs. There you go. Very nice. And this one has two Cs, two CHCs on a CH. So let's make the CH first, and then it has two CH3s. There you go. Then a CH2, then a CHCL, then a CH3. Again, I'm not writing the H's, but that's what I have my structure as. So one, two, three, four, five in the main chain. Second has C, and the fourth has a CL. So one, two, three, four, five. The second has a C. And the one, two, three, fourth has a CL. There you go. All right. Now moving on to alkenes and skeletal formulae and structural formulae. All right. So here are some alkenes. How would I draw them structurally, the structural formula, and then draw the skeletal? I'm going to pick up the pace here a bit. So now we got CH3s, then a CH, double bond, CH, CH3. This is how you would write this. CH3, CH, double bond, CH3. You show the double bond. And since when I count the carbons, how many in the main chain? One center chain, one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. And the second one double bond, you draw it like this. Literally make a double bond right there. Dun, dun, dun. And this, this is more straighter than it looks right now, but you know what? Yeah, it's been a long video. I'll keep saying that. One, two, three, four, five, 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 five. CH3, CH, double bond, CH, CH2, CH3. So anybody watching by now this long video, yes, it's becoming a long video, but this, if you get this right, trust me, organic chemistry will become so much easier. So this is a condensed formula for this. And how are the structural for this? Uh, sorry, it's skeletal, five and a, one, two, three, four, five. And the second carbon-carbon bond is double. There you go. That's it. Here, one, two, three, four in the main chain. And the first one is a CH2, double bonded to a CH, then a CH bracket, CH3. But because that CH3 is the same as this CH3, I can combine them both as CH3 twice. Now the skeletal formula for this. I got one, two, three, four in the main chain. One, two, three, four in the main chain. The first bond is double. And the third carbon has a CH3, and that's the third carbon CH3 drawn right there. Showing you two more longer ones with multiple double bonds, you might want to pause after seeing them and then solve them. But these are those two questions. You can pause right now and solve because now I'm solving them to make their structural formula and their skeletal formula. Structural, CH2, double bond CH, CH, double bond CH, CH2, CH3, literally, CH2 double bond CH, then another CH, double bond CH, then CH2, CH3. And they're all one, two, three, four, five, six, no branches, six in a chain. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the first double, the third double, the first double and the third double. There you go. That's it. Now looking at this one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, this is also six carbon, but it has three double bonds. So it'll be a different kind of alkene. Yeah, we'll do the names later. Again, the first one is CH2, double bond CH. Then a CH, double bond CH. Uh, now I've confused how many CHs are there. CH2, yeah, CH, CH. Oh, sorry, CH2, the CH. This CH right here, then double bond this CH, then a single bond CH, and then a CH double bond CH2. Single bond CH, we don't show that, but double bond CH2. And since we knew there were six, so one, two, three, four, five, six. First, third, and fifth double bond. First, third, and fifth. 
Oh, that's it. That's it. That's it. Actually, no. This one you should make on the inside. So it is that one. The double bond should be on the inside. It is just nicer that way. Yeah, there you go. Inside. Now, moving on to alcohols. So we drew the structural and skeletal for haloalkenes. Alkenes here. Now, alcohols. Now, what do alcohols have? Alcohols have the OH group. So now, how do I draw their structural and skeletal? Again, you want to pause, you can go ahead. All right. So what do I have? I have CH3 and a C with another CH3 and another CH3 and an OH. So this is a very common question they give because they represent this as there are three CH3s on this carbon. So three CH3s on the carbon that has the OH. Beautiful, beautiful. And its skeletal formula would be three carbons, one, two, three. The middle one has CH3 and has an OH. There you go. That's it. That's it. Go into the one in the middle. One, two, three. The third one has an OH. And the middle one has an alkyl group. So these are two, by the way, isomers. All you got to do was change the position of the OH. But we'll do isomerism later. Right now, we'll just draw the, uh, what do you call it? The structural formula for this. So this carbon has a CH3 and a two CH3s. So now instead of three, it's got two CH3s. Two CH3s on a C with an H. And the last one is a CH2OH. So how do I draw this? One, two, three. The middle one has a CH3. And the last one has an OH. Now you could have drawn it there or even at the bottom. Whichever one you want is perfectly fine. And here I have a diol with three carbons. So basically it is, uh, I'll use a different pen here. Yeah. So the first one is OH on a CH2. That's how you write literally. It's like an ultra CH2OH because you follow the atoms the way they are. H-O-C-H-2, then CH2, then CH2OH. CH2 and then CH2OH. Now, the skeletal for this will be one, two, three carbons. And the last one has an OH and this one has an OH. That's it. That's beautiful. Yep. There you go. Now, some more complicated ones. You can try them out, pause, record, write, and then check. So let's go here. Two CH3s on a COH, CH2, CH3. Two CH3s on a C, OH. Now that OH is a branch, so it'll be in brackets. Then a CH2 and a CH3. Skeletal, again, much easier. One, two, three, four in the main chain. And the second one has an OH and a CH3. One, two, three, four in the main chain. OH on the second one and a CH3. A little slant. Yes, there you go. This fellow. Again, four in the main chain. But this fellow has now a CH3 here, a CH3 here. And this is also a CH3. So we combine them together. We say CH3 thrice on the middle C, the second one right here. And then a CH2. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And the last one is CH2 OH. Again, skeletal, one, two, three, four. Second has two CH3s and the last one has an OH. Oh, this one's going to be nice. One, two, three, four. The second one has two CH3s. The last one has two OHs. You can draw it like that. You could also, also draw it like this. One, two, three, four. Nah, nah. And the last one has an OH like this. You can point it upwards also if you like. Whatever. Okay. Either one of them is correct. Now here, one, two, oh my God, long, one diol. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in the main chain. This guy has 1 CH3, 2 CH3, and CH3. I'm getting used to the multiple CH3s that these guys have. So CH3, thrice on the C, then a CH2, then a CH bracket OH. And I'm going to zoom out because I don't have space. I'm going to slide to the right. And then a CH2 OH. And so when you draw the skeletal, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 carbons, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The second one has a CH3 and a CH3. And the second last one has an OH. And the last one has an OH. There you go. Second last OH, last OH. So now alcohol is done. Then we do aldehydes, ketones, and acids. Okay, scrolling down now. So these are two aldehydes. Simple, pretty detailed. So now how do I write this one? This one is fun. This is new, uh, new territory. So we start off with the first one being a CH3. Then you'd have a CH2. And then you don't write this as COH. That would be calling it an alcohol. So you write this an aldehyde as CHO. Just change the order in which there is the atoms. CHO. CHO means this bond. 
Remember that now. CHO, every time you see CHO, it's an aldehyde group, C double bond O and H together. So here I have, okay, let's do this uh, structural first for both of them because that's the new stuff. So CH3 on a carbon that has an H and a CH3. So combine these two. Yeah, that's what we do. Combine these two, CH3 twice on a C with an H. This CH is this guy. Then a CH2. Then a CH2, another one. And the last one is CHO. Now there's skeletal formula. Three carbons, easy, zig, zag, zig. And the last one has a double bond O. So what I'll do is I follow the line down. It's nice to either that or you could have done this and like that. Both are equally acceptable as a diagram. Now the one on the right, one, two, three, four, five in the main chain. One, two, three, four, five in the main chain. The second one is a CH3 and the last one is an aldehyde. There you go. See how easy and quick this is to make skeletal. If you learn this, you know, yeah, organic becomes generally a piece of cake. I'm not saying this is all you need, but it makes life easier. Now let's look at their uh, less useful brothers of aldehydes called ketones. What do ketones have? They also have a carbonyl carbon. The difference is that carbonyl carbon is in the middle somewhere. It's not at the ends. It's not on the terminals. So this is the most simplest ketone you'll ever, ever get. Three carbons. And this is written as CH3, CO, CH3. Its skeletal is one, two, three, and the middle one has an O. That's as simple as that. This one is a one, two, three, four, five carbon. The first one is CH3, then CO, then CH2, then another CH2, and then a CH3. And five carbons, skeletal is one, two, three, four, five. And the second one has a C double bond O. So there you go. That's what they're right. So that's the skeletal for this. Okay, moving on to an acid and a ketone. Ketones, one last ketone left and a couple of more acids and we are done. So this is nice longer ketone and it's a CH3 on a CO, CH2, CH, and a CH3 and another CH3. So I combine these two, yeah. Obviously, so CH3 on a CO, we never show the double bond for the carbonyl because it's assumed because there's nothing else that can be there unless it's an OH and then we would have used brackets for that anyway. So yeah, CH2, then CH with two CH3s. All right. And the skeletal for this would be one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. The second one having an O, double bond and the Fourth one having a CH3. So the second one having an O and the fourth one having a CH3. That's right there. Okay. Now, the last class of compounds that we look at. Carboxylic acids. Now, how do I write them down? This one's pretty straightforward. It's got a CH3, a CH2, a CH2, CWOH. So that's what I do. I say CH3, CH2, CH2, CO2H. Skeletal for this would be 1, 2, 3, 4. And the last one has an O and an OH. That's beautiful. See that? Down and up. I could have swapped them up. Up and down also. That would be 1, 2, 3, 4. Double one here and OH there. Either way, it's perfectly correct. Both are equally correct for this. A couple of more branched acids, that would be fun to draw. You can pause and try them out now. The last two molecules for the video to draw structures, structural formula and skeletal for are right here. Here, we got one, two, three, four in the main chain and an acid. CH3, CH, CH3. Oh, so two CH3s on the C. Very common phenomenon in my questions are clearly, I want you guys to get used to this, seeing this, that when you have two here, one of the CH3s is in the main chain and one is branch. It doesn't mean both are branch. It just means that there are two CH3 groups on a carbon coming up right here, CH. I'll draw that. But when you have two of them, one of them will be in the main chain and one of them will be branched. Okay, so CH here. Then this guy is another CH with another CH3, but can't clump this with these two because this CH3 is on this carbon. 
carbon number three, while this two other CHCs are in carbon number two. So they will clump together in a CH, and then the CH carbon number three has a CH3. Another carbon CH has a CH3. And the last one is a CO2H. Its skeletal would be one, two, three, four in the main chain, second and third branched. So one, two, three, four in the main chain, second and third branched, the last being an acid. There you go. Okay. So the last molecule of this video. Yes, I didn't do some complicated structures where you have multiple functional groups together, but it's okay. We'll come across them in the next video where we'll be doing naming. And for all those names that we'll draw, they will draw their skeletal too quickly so that if anybody wants to double check, they can check there. Here, you got one, two, three, four, five. But again, me and my CH3s. This carbon has a CH3 here and a CH3 here. So, two CH3s, again, on a CH, obviously the CH is this one, then a CH2, and then another CH2, and a CO2H. And its skeletal would be one, two, three, four, five carbons long, one, two, three, four, five carbons long. The second one having a CH3, and yeah, right there, second one having a CH3, and uh, the last one having an acid group, O, O, H. So that's the structural formula for this. Anyways, so I'm ending this right now. I'll probably have to break this into two videos. So if you see this part of two videos, yeah, it's probably because the video became more than an hour long and I'm going to divide it over two shorter videos. All right. So, but this is how to draw structures of organic compounds. Displayed, condensed, Displayed condensed skeletal. Displayed condensed skeletal. Or how the Cambridge syllable calls it displayed structural, uh, sorry, displayed structural skeletal. Displayed structural skeletal. This is really displayed structural formula, condensed structural formula, and skeletal formula. Cambridge calls this displayed because these guys in a line structural and the sticks skeletal. Okay, anyways, so ciao guys, see you in the next one where we'll be naming all the molecules we just drew today, by the way. So we'll actually just name these guys, so it'll save me the hassle of drawing them all over again. Ciao, bye.